Hello, I am Dr. Azaz from MedicoVisual.com and today we will talk about the development of Notochord. How the Notochord develops. So, let's start the video. So, here is the trilaminar germ disk of the embryo at the start of third week of development. And as you know, the Notochord, it starts forming during the third week of development. So, here is the primitive node and inside it is the depression called primitive pit and this is the primitive streak along with the central midline depression called primitive groove and of course this is the oropharyngeal membrane now let's cut a section here let's remove this part and let's see from the front not from the front from the side that how it looks like so here is the cross section of the embryo as we have discussed previously that this structure is called precordal plate and this is the primitive node along with the, this depression called primitive pit and this is the precordal mesoderm so this this caudal part of the precordal plate cells here they proliferate and they form the precordal mesoderm here we have discussed all these details in a previous lecture and here is the oropharyngeal membrane and by the way this is the cloacal membrane and as you must be aware of the fact that this bluish thing it is the embryonic ectoderm and this greenish thing it is the embryonic endoderm now what happens that some of the cell they will ingress and they will go downward from this from this part and they will form a process an invagination or process in between the ecto and endoderm in the central midline this process is called notochordal process now let's zoom this out and let's cut a section from this part as well and here is the cut section here so we we are looking from the side as well as we can look at from the front so two sections are here and here is the notochordal process and here too is the notochordal process if you can see here that we have cut it almost from this part and here you can see that this is the notochordal process then what happens that some of the central cells here they will undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis and this this uh, notochordal process it will undergo what we call as canalization so as it undergoes the process of canalization a canal is formed in between them and we call it notochordal canal so this is a notochordal process and in between them there is a canal in the center of this notochordal process there is a canal that is called notochordal canal this notochordal process with its notochordal canal it continues to grow until it it reaches the precordal plate then it further grows and then it intercalates into the underlying embryonic endoderm here in this diagram you can also see that this notochordal process with the notochordal canal it became intercalated into this embryonic endoderm here in this diagram you can also see that this notochordal process it intercalates into this embryonic endoderm and it slightly displaces it laterally in this part then what happens that the floor of this notochordal process or floor of this notochordal canal which is also the floor of this uh, endoderm in the midline uh, it starts undergoing the process of apoptosis and ultimately the floor is lost now it is not the notochordal process but it is a curved plate and we call it notochordal plate as the notochordal plate forms there is now a free communication between this part and this part of the embryo as you know that in the central midline this ectoderm of the embryo it is going to form the nervous system and here this endoderm it will form the git gastrointestinal system 
so here is the communication that connects the primordium of central nervous system to the primordium of gastrointestinal system so this communication or canal is called neurenteric canal this neurenteric canal it is connecting the two cavities temporarily actually it is a temporary connection later on we will see that as the notochord completely forms this uh, neurenteric canal is obliterated so it is temporarily connecting two cavities and what are those two cavities you must be knowing that above this ectoderm is the amniotic cavity and below this endoderm is the yolk sac cavity so it is a temporary connection between the amniotic cavity as well as the yolk sac cavity but what are the functions of this neurenteric canal sadly more than a century has been passed since it was first discovered but still there is no properly known function of this cavity but there are certain hypotheses to explain the functions of neurenteric canal what are those hypotheses number 1 is that it is there to equalize the pressure between amniotic as well as yolk sac cavity the other is that it may be an evolutionary vestige in the humans and it may not have any functions in the human beings the third hypothesis is my own hypothesis and i propose that during this time period some substances may be required to be exchanged between the amniotic as well as yolk sac cavity so this neurenteric canal it may have some role in exchange of substances between these two cavities i think some of you will still be confused about the neurenteric canal so i want you to become really crystal clear about this structure so let's have a 3d tour of this structure so that it becomes really clear to you so here is the embryonic ectoderm and here is the embryonic endoderm and here you can see that this notochordal plate it is intercalated in the midline of this embryonic endoderm and here is the primitive node and by the way here is the above this is the amniotic cavity and below this is the yolk sac cavity which is not shown here so here is the primitive node let's say you see this beautiful hole and you want to rush inside this hole of course my friend do not try to enter each and every hole you ever see in your life but for the sake of science let's enter into this hole so here we are traversing into this hole yeah let's so here is the primitive pit and we are going inside the primitive pit and here is the this uh, what is this notochordal plate and now we are in between the endo and ectoderm and if we continue to traverse oh my god i have fallen down so here we are and we have fallen into what cavity here this is the yolk sac cavity so actually we started from the amniotic cavity and we fallen into this yolk sac cavity and we we fallen into this cavity through this neurenteric canal and if we so here you can see this is the embryonic endoderm right so here is the embryonic endoderm and similarly we can enter this hole from downward and if we try to enter into this hole from downward here we will come out through the primitive node and here what we will come across is the which cavity amniotic cavity so this is basically the neurenteric canal which is connecting the uh, amniotic cavity with the yolk sac cavity and it is connecting it temporarily now let's cut a section of this embryonic ectoderm and let's see what happens so here is the embryonic ectoderm which which has been cut from here and here you can see that this structure this structure here is the notochordal plate so here is the notochordal plate and this was the primitive pit and here is the neurenteric canal and now let's cut the section from here from the front so now we have cut the section from front and this is the diagram of a, what we call the precord not precordal notochordal plate and this is what you are used to seeing in the textbooks 
and here again you can see the neuroenteric canal here so after this 3d tour of neuroenteric canal let's move forward to the development of notochord so right now this notochord is at the stage of notochordal plate now let's zoom into this diagram and let's see what happens next then what happens is that this notochordal plate it rolls up inward like a chicken roll without chicken inside it and as it rolls and it becomes closer to each other uh, its ends they become closer to each other these ends of the embryonic endoderm they also come close to each other ultimately it rolls almost completely and it then moves upward and it further grows and it becomes a flexible but solid rod here in this diagram you can also see that here is that flexible or solid rod that's what we call as notochord so this structure is called the notochord notochord is the structure due to which the phylum chordata is named so and by the way you must be remembering the humans they are also the member of phylum chordata what is the function of notochord? Notochord is very important signaling structure for different surrounding structures. It will signal the overlying ectoderm to form the neural tube and it will also signal information of somites and some other structures. We will discuss the details in later lectures. In humans, the notochord ultimately degenerates. However, the remnant of notochord remains in children's vertebral disc as nucleus pulposus. This is the structure called nucleus pulposus. So this was about the development of notochord. Let's have a review of this. We can study the development of notochord in certain steps. The first step is that this notochordal process develops and then this notochordal canal forms as the central cells they undergo apoptosis the central notochordal canal forms. In the step 3 what happens that it further grows and it reaches towards the precordal plate. Then this notochordal process it intercalates into the embryonic endoderm and then the cells forming the floor of notochordal canal they undergo apoptosis and ultimately the floor of notochordal canal is lost and this temporary connection between the amniotic cavity and yolk sac cavity called neuroenteric canal it develops so here is the neuroenteric canal notochordal plate then rolls inward and finally, a flexible solid cord called notochord is formed. So this was the development of notochord. So here is the complete review slide. You can pause the video and you can further see this diagram. Now let's have a 3D tour of notochord. So here you can see, you can now recognize this structure that is, it is the embryonic ectoderm and here is the embryonic endoderm. Now let's cut a section from here and let's see the notochord. So here is the section of this embryo and here you can see that this structure is the notochord. So here is the notochord and as you can see that it starts from the what is this structure? The primitive plate and it reaches up to this precordal plate and specifically the precordal mesoderm. Now let's cut the section from here first let's uncut this and no, then we will cut a section from the front so here is the front cut section and here you can see that this is the notochord so this is the notochord and you can see that it is made up of cells and these cells are arranged in such a fashion that it becomes a solid yet flexible cord and this is the diagram that you are used to seeing in the textbook and all around is here is the mesoderm which is a embryonic mesenchyme so this was the 3d tour of notochord